Hey guys, so I want to give the Timmys a voice for the majority of time. They've been memed to death with taco memes and so on, and very few of them have actually been brave enough to speak out now that they are being banned and have no voice. I figured I would at least um, let you guys know. So the majority of the Timmys contacting me, and it's been over 25 Timmys in total, they all have one thing in common, and they're not really wealthy, they're not rich. This isn't my other channel where people are buying Rolexes and $200,000 Richard Mills or have businesses. Uh, this is, these are people living paycheck to paycheck, and they have had breakups. Uh, even one person is considering, is, the wife is considering divorce over financial difficulties because they bought too many Rudy mystery boxes. Uh, if you actually go on, so he sold a lot of mystery boxes for $700. Uh, the people who are joking about it and laughing about it a year ago, they're no longer joking, laughing about that $700. There are a lot of people, there's a married couple on YouTube, and they haven't posted a video in a, in a long while, and they bought four boxes of this shit. And they're, I mean, $2,800, that's a really nice honeymoon, right? That's a really nice weekend trip to Las Vegas or somewhere. Uh, eat whatever you want. Um, I think in terms of money, money is getting tighter. I do believe we are heading to uh, towards a recession. Uh, all the economists say so. And it might be a long, long winter uh, for many, many people. Uh, they got to pay electricity. You got to pay your homeowners association fees. You got to pay. I got to pay my lawyer and bar association fees. A couple hundred dollars a year. I think it's like 300 something. And there are a lot of money effing fees that we have to pay just to survive in America. The last thing you need to be doing is buying Nightfall First Edition for five hundred dollars a box, four boxes at two thousand uh, dollars. You couldn't even get you know twenty dollars for it, in my personal opinion, because there's liquidity is not there. Like it's all fun and games when you say, "Oh, this card's gone up this much," and that, but like if um, the the box of the card is only sold, three of them have sold the last month. You're never going to be one of those free people because the free people that sold last month is the same card seller, and that they got fifty thousand plus reviews, and they're the lowest price. So like, stop it, you know, just stop it, and then you got to pay fees and shipping. None of this is ever mentioned. It's kind of interesting that this is an investment. But when you have investments, you got to sell it. Right? Buying it, you know, at a good price is one thing, okay? Um, but you got to sell it, you know? And this is what the Timmys are having difficulties doing. And that's why they're approaching me en masse. And I don't want to buy it, man. It's MetaZoo shit, man. Like, it's, it's so funny. I, I did the whole MetaZoo for best content creator because there are no content creators for MetaZoo, dudes. Like, there's just none. Um... You know, um, I mean, I, I've heard a guy who lost his home. I cannot confirm any of this stuff, but it, it sounds pretty severe. Uh, they they invested a lot of money in this that they couldn't afford to invest in. So when you're talking about who is buying cases and cases of this stuff to store, and let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story. Back before Rudy, people would buy a box, a single box of every set from their local game store. They would sit there, open the box, and have a fun time, and other players would open a box and have a fun time, support their local game store. How do I know this? Because I took my girlfriend's nephew, and Yu-Gi-Oh is the same thing. You ain't got no Yu-Gi-Oh investors, man. On the 25th anniversary, they just open their boxes and have fun, and they trade cards with each other. Because um, Alpha Investment doesn't do Yu-Gi-Oh. So understand what I'm saying right now. You can compare his effect to magic with Yu-Gi-Oh! Because he doesn't touch Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're having a blast, man. I went to um, three different stores, uh, from beginning stores, medium stores, and, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! is thriving, my dude. The player base is massive. I couldn't imagine it. You know, like I was like, what? And magic, it's dying because everyone, instead of going to their local store and buying a box, they're buying a case online to sit on and not have fun. You know, how, how fun is it to look at that box, right, within a box of cards within a pack and, and not open? It, it's just disgusting. You know, I, I open all my packs. I straight up tell you, you know, I like opening packs. Um, I like opening packs with friends. I like opening packs with my girlfriend. I like opening packs with just random strangers at the local card shop. That's how you build a community. And you can give away some cards. And again, I don't need the commons. I give, I give away all the commons, uncommons, even the rares I don't need. 
because I don't need them. And honestly, it would be too much trouble to bring them home. It would actually cost more money to buy the little three dollar uh, one thousand card holder than to just give them away to newer players. That's what I remember about Magic. Um, I don't remember people buying cases of this shit and then storing them in closets and then panicking when I don't remember that. Let me tell you another story. Dude, he buys two boxes of Nightfall, right? Uh, 500 bucks a pop. He can't, he can't even get like, he doesn't even know how to sell it, right? He doesn't know how to sell it for any amount, right? And the crazy part about this is he couldn't afford it. A thousand dollars for him. Uh, he works at McDonald's, uh, is a lot of money, my guys. Like, these people who are his patrons are not filthy rich Rolex wearers, right? I can tell the difference from the comment sections, from my comment section over there and this comment section over here. The language, the tone, the, the uh, connotations, they're all very different. You know, like, I can tell that, hey, this guy owns a business by the way he talks and he speaks. And I can tell, oh, this guy just works kind of a, you know, maybe a labor job or something like that, maybe roofing or something like that. So back to my initial idea and, and the reason that I think um, Anthony, or not Anthony, I, <laughs> man, I call Rudy Anthony. Wow. The slip of the top, right? Slip, right? Uh, he's targeting really stupid people. And those stupid people are always angry and they always, so I, how do I know that they're stupid people? They make fun of the way I speak. Um, when I talk to business people and intelligent people, they just want to know my ideas and uh, how it can help them. I've never had any uh, business owner or any lawyer or doctor make fun of the way I speak because many times lawyers and doctors, they speak second languages, third languages. I speak three different languages. Um, and of course the pronunciation and so on. So I know that people who make fun of the way I speak, they're probably at the lower end of the, the job thing, right? The, so if you look at my other channel, nobody ever says that. Only on this channel, they do, they say that because there's a educational gap. So if you go to like a place like NYU or Harvard or Yale, it's likely that a lot of students are international and they do have accents and they do speak and pronounce things differently. On this channel, everyone gets really upset about it. Everyone, you know, but I've never met a lawyer who made fun of the way I speak. And I, as a lawyer, would never make the fun of a way another lawyer would speak. I work in immigration. We all speak three, four, five, six different languages. Uh, my girlfriend is actually a translator. She speaks seven languages. So that's how I know that these people are not, I, that's why I believe these people are not highly educated or making a ton of money and they're telling me they live paycheck by paycheck. I kind of figure that that's right by the tone. And like, you don't have to be a genius to figure this stuff out in real life, right? Um, business is international now. If you want to make fun of the way somebody speaks, you ain't going to do business for a lot of people. Anyway, hi guys.